Hello guys, this is Rama once again and today I'm going to share with you about our last four night safari experience. This is one of those very short safari but providing you with the best. So our aim on this safari was to target that huge number of the wild beast migration. So we had two nights in Dutu in the Ngorongoro conservation area and another two nights in the central Serengeti. So between these two places we wanted to make sure we won't miss that huge number of the wild beast migration. Guess what happened guys? I'm letting you watch the video and enjoy it. And of course, if you want to see more video from us, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button so you don't miss any of our future video, guys. Driving through into the world's largest inactive, intact and unfilled volcanic caldera. The crater which formed when a large volcano exploded and collapsed on itself. And this was 2.5 to 3 million years ago. Which left the area looks like a basin of what we see today. With a surrounding wall of 610 meters deep. And uh, the floor itself covers 260 kilometers square. Ngorongoro crater is the largest unbroken caldera in the world and uh, is a home to a population of some 25,000 large animals, mostly younglets alongside the highest density of uh, mammalian predators in Africa, including the densest known population of lions, wildebeest, zebras and the world protected black rhinos. We are currently here in Ndutu uh, with a beautiful sunrise in the back. Ndutu area in the west of the conservation area has a particularly strong cheetah and lion population. During our early morning game drive, we have just come across with the pride of lion here around uh, Lake Masek. And this pride is called Masek Pride. And uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time in here enjoying the interactions of the family members, including all the cubs around. You know that uh, lioness engage in allo suckling, which is the suckling of any cub by any lactating female. So mostly... Each female suckles her own cubs, but the mutual suckling and communal care of any cub of the pride by any female reduces the chances of mortality for all the cubs. It is not just lion can be found in here. It's also a home of varied species of antelopes, such as grand gazelles.
we had an amazing two nights in here and uh, this is our last day uh, the place had been amazing with a lot of lions and uh, yeah today we are heading to the center Serengeti uh, we have at least an hour drive from here to the Nabi gate and then from there we're gonna drive straight up to the central Serengeti. We're expecting to see that uh, huge number of the wildebeest migration from there. So this is going to be amazing, and we are totally looking forward to it. Entering into the famous Serengeti National Park, Serengeti Plains, the almost treeless grassland of the south in the almost emblematic scenery of the park. This is where the wildebeest breed as they remain in the plains for, from December to May. Other hoofed animals, zebras, gazelle, impalas, hartbeest, and many moles also occur in a huge number during the wet season. Wildebeest start in the south of the Serengeti National Park with the birth of half a million calves between January and March. May to July. This is the period that the wildebeest, after having feasted on the short green grasses of the southern Serengeti, and after having given birth to their offspring, starting get ready for their 800 kilometer long trek. like never ends. Then, when the beginning of the short rains in late October, the migration start making its way back into the southern Serengeti. During the migration, the wildebeest encounter many dangers, including numerous predators such as lion, cheetah, hyenas, preying on the young, old, and weak. And of course, natural hazards, floods, the hot tropical sun, cessy flies, and exhaustion. Vultures are the most efficient scavenging birds which play a highly important ecological role through the rapid consumption of animal carcasses. They do safely disposing of dead animals and help in preventing the spread of different diseases. <laughs> Vultures 
Vultures are the cleaner of the environment and its presence is an indicator of healthy environment. So, Marobi stock. 